The masked shrike. No, I didn't see it, but the magpie kind of reminds me of it. Not that I've ever seen the mask strike, but I was watching The Great Escape again yesterday, and uh, Blythe, Donald Pleasance's character, the forger, he's also the bird watcher, and it's the way he's introduced to um, Henley the scrounger, and uh, Henley asks him, sees the binoculars and says, oh, bird hunting, and he says, oh, no, no, bird watching. And there was another film, I mean, you got to think, I mean, hunting birds, I mean, there's so little meat on them anyway. I mean, it's positively evil to hunt a bird. But that was the American. And, you know, I mean, they laid waste, not just to the native Indians, but to, but to many birds as well. The passenger pigeon being notably one such bird that they made extinct within a very short period of time. Uh, but the, the, the mass strike is on the board in the classroom um, when he's teaching. <coughs> the, the lesson soon transforms when the, the goons go away uh, into uh, tunnelling. Life is tunnelling until you reach the light, is it not? And then I was coming on the train uh, with a bike um, passing Yorker and there was a wood pigeon on the platform. <sighs> just staring at me and then a seagull come over and then the magpie and then of course the great big metal bird the British Airways 747 coming in to land at Glasgow Airport it cuts right over Yoker and Clyde Bank and it's quite low at that point and you just think what madness to try and imitate a bird unnaturally Never fly unless you have wings. And so then, coming along, cycling along the, the towpath, along the canal between Dalmuir and Kilpatrick, there's a heron just preening itself by the banks, the two swans languidly swimming, rowing like Danny and Willie up the canal, and then further along the, the mandarin duck, the mallards, uh, the silps alps, as they call them in German, the chiff chaffs, uh, up through Lusset Glen, the wooded warblers, and I'm not even a bird watcher. <laughs> uh.